Well, it's, these are funny stories, but an old aunt of mine, <laughs> she, um, uh, well, I used to like drawing uh, and uh, at school, and there weren't any art classes or anything, I liked drawing. And I remember when I was still in primary school, I think, I heard my mother and my auntie talking, and I overheard them say, Doris, <laughs> this boy has to do architecture. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well, architecture, what's that all about? And anyway, it sowed a seed. Mm -hmm. And then this same auntie had a, a, a friend who had studied architecture using an international correspondence course mm -hmm. with a series of great big volumes about this book, B, which I subsequently uh, was given. Mm -hmm. and And then... During school, well, I had to sort out sort of subjects to suit architecture, and and it never suited because we had to do art, which you know was not thought of in any big sense like it is now, and uh, and that clashed with chemistry and and French, and it was very hard to work in, and I sort of did dismally in chemistry and French in senior, but I got enough. Be in art or something to be able to get into the course. So, the times have changed, and I, you know, with my past and everything, I wouldn't have got into architecture, I don't think. But in those days, they had university scholarships for free thing, and we all got university scholarships, no fees, fantastic.